Hello and welcome to another Nimble video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you about an idea that I'm in the process of developing and tossing around in my head. I've got it in a alpha stage so I can show it to you and I'll show you um, a nice little diagram of what I'm working on or what the idea is. Um, in the previous one of my previous videos, I showed you the uh, I made use of the random user me uh, endpoint rest endpoint to show you how I could lay out UML diagrams within Nimble. Um, so what I'm going to do let's let's hit that endpoint, pull in the contract, and take a look at the diagram. Um, what I did, what I noticed is that this is a pretty, a pretty nice uh, diagram or schematic renderer. Um, so what I wanted to do was make this more generic um, so that you could render all different types of diagrams, schematics, blueprints, whatever you want to call it, in the same type of control or extension. So the concept of this is I'm going to take this dialog or I have taken this dialog, make it a little bit more generic. I'll probably call it a doc view on the user, um, the user object within Nimble.js. I'm going to add in a special location called interfaces. And then I'm going to allow you to build custom factories of any type um, attached to the interface and it will automatically attach to this document and allow you to, to render any type of schematic or chart or what have you. Um, the idea behind this is to make it generic, reusable, and easily plug, you know, can plug in. Um, if you haven't noticed or haven't been following, this whole project uses a technique called the builder design pattern. All the components, all the pieces that make this uh, project function and able to be improved so rapidly, it's because it's a bunch of components built on top of um, each other and has total code reuse. Um, I try to make things as generic as possible. I make them as stable as possible to run without error so that I can continue to build more cool things. So I'm going to give you a look at the quick prototype of my second document rendering factory. But here's the, here's the general idea of the way it works. The UML factory is loaded or initialized within the, the framework or in the, the runtime. Um, it attaches to the user object, which is, of course, the area where um, I've provided anybody who's using the board program with Nimble can build and attach custom things into the interface. And then it would have a custom, a custom interface that connects to the document viewer. This interface will be able to allow you to program these uh, zoom buttons for any factory that attaches in. The next diagram or the next factory I'm going to show you is a tree view. That's just basically like a um, what do you call it? hierarchy tree or a you know a custom diagram to show uh, orders of people nested under other individuals within a company, an organization chart. That's what I'm looking for, an organization chart. So I, I built this diagram because I had. Uh, them had the opportunity to build a similar type structure for a private project that I worked on for the banking company, uh, investment banking company, and um, I was using Angular, I believe, at the time. So I wanted to design something very similar, but only better, of course, um, for Nimble. So this this particular diagram I'm going to show you today is similar to a org chart, and I'm going to do this from the command line. So currently. The UML diagram is rendering, so we're going to clear it, get that out of there. And we're going to load in my custom tree view factory, which is based off of the same, pretty much the same source as the UML diagram. Once that's initialized inside the runtime, we have to um, declare it. So we will. Declare a new factory. <clears throat> We're going to initialize that factory on this dialog. Currently, it's called 
the form browser dialog, nim form browse, and we're going to initialize it inside the body element. Once it's initialized, we can now render the tree. So we'll say tree analyze. That's the, the trigger to actually render the tree. What this is going to do, um, I'm using random user me version 1.2 to hit their rest endpoint. Uh, again, that's not my, my data endpoint. That's something that was provided free. It has a lot of great uh, great uses for testing and, and creating things like this. I'm going to pull back, I believe, 50, maybe 75 individuals, and I'm going to render it as a, like an org chart. Um, I did this as a, it's still an alpha, so it's not perfectly rendered, but I'm sure you'll be able to appreciate what I've got. Okay, the document comes back and I'm just showing the first user in the tree. When I click that guy, it'll start allowing you to navigate individuals in an org chart. This is still an alpha and I have not built the interface to connect. So the zoom and unzoom buttons do not work because they are registered on the UML factory. When this is all said and done, this particular this whole dialogue as well as all the buttons will be able to be attached to and detached to by the factories once the interface is in place. Um, but it'll allow you to seamlessly build as many diagrams, documents, schematics, pop open this dialogue and show them um, seamlessly. So we have a full nested org chart. Um, all the drag drop functionality still works, but it doesn't honor it when you, it'll always re reset when you navigate to a new position in the tree. It does do a nice job at remembering what you've opened, um, how you've navigated down a particular path. But uh, I really like the speed at which it renders this this particular tree. And um, I guess later I'll even allow you to customize the particular elements. Um, on the side note, you probably notice that the elements, if you haven't noticed, they auto size to the content because they're not all the same size as particular. I just show the user face, their name, and their uh, city zip. Once, if it uh, the city zip is longer than the default size, it will automatically size to the um, content. Just a a really nice way to display dynamic documents and schematics. I can only imagine how I could power this with more factories and more um, different ways to display diagrams. This is good stuff. Um, just something I was playing around with. It's still an alpha. It's not quite ready, but it's getting there. Um, what can I say? The builder design pattern. It is absolutely the best way to build software. Um, if you're not using it, you don't know what you're missing. Thank you for watching.